day, friendly folks. This is Ali Rush again, coming at you one more time with something that I hope is very helpful and informational to you. I want to talk to you. It's not going to be very long because I'm not really that long, but I think it'll hold your attention. And it's called the Ghost Stroke Strikes Again. If you listen uh, intently, you will know exactly what I'm talking to you about. All right. I had a transient, transient ischemic attack. It was a neurological event with the signs and symptoms of a stroke. It went away within a short period of time, so now I know why they call it ghost stroke. They called it a TIA because it lacked adequate blood and oxygen to the brain. Had a little problem with my speech. I couldn't talk very plain. Guess that's the reason they called it ghost stroke. You know, I noticed ghosts don't talk so plain either. Sound as if they are way out in la-la land. I didn't need no stroking. My mind was either going or gone somewhere because I couldn't tell my head from my toes. Kinda got it confused with backstroke, but that's a type of swimming, and the only water around was in the kitchen. You had to turn on the faucet to get some. Besides, I didn't want water anyway. Now I'm hearing they call them mini stroke. Two, hope they don't come up with another name for it, I'm having problems remembering the other two. Let's see what some of the other problems with this ghost, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's called a ghost stroke, isn't it? Well, we should call an exorcist to get this thing away from me. But you know what I heard? This stroke causes one to lose 1.71% out of five years of perfect health due to an earlier death. It costs another 1.08 years due to reduced quality of life. It can cause some serious problems too, arm, leg, or face weakness, trouble speaking, seeing, or balance. It can give you a headache out of this world and it comes on suddenly too. The good thing about it is that it warns you seven days before an attack. Now a ghost can't do that. You have to get to the doctor fast before it attacks your brain. This stroke thing makes it hard on your balance. Watch it, you might fall. Your left side wants to pull in the other direction. You have to make it go with the rest of your body. You look at your left side and discover it's still there. But it doesn't want to stand up straight. The right side of me is all right. I think it always attacks you from the left. That side is most vulnerable. Uh-uh, don't, don't you ask me why. It just does. Now I have to go. Enough of this ghost and stroke stuff. Goodbye, so long. Get your hat, Jack, and don't you come back. Oh, yes, I will. Wait till I get another message to give these folks.